So we have uh, Sam Jenkins asking, is there a tradition of wearing the kilt in Ireland? Good segue. Mr. Eric. Uh, modernly, it's not necessarily much of a thing except for pipe bands. Uh, usually uh, there's going to be military bands. There are a few civilian bands that to this day do wear kilts. And of course, the most common version you're going to see is saffron. Now, wearing kilts in Ireland goes back about 120 to even 150 years now. Uh, basically going back all the way to the Gaelic Revival with organizations like the Gaelic League and the Gaelic Athletics Association and people involved with those trying to get adopted as a national dress. So it's kind of like got a very slow start back then with a few people who were very passionate about it uh, and it picked up steam slowly throughout the 20th century. Very good summation. It's, you know, it's Ta -da. That's what I do. a little over 100 years old and there, it never caught on in a huge way. It's always kind of been there a little bit in the background, but it never really caught on outside of bagpipe circles and, you know, uh, nationalist kind of circles. Right. Yeah. So, yes, there is there, to answer the question directly, is there a tradition of wearing kilts in Ireland? Yes, in a very small niche. I think you've talked about in the past, Rocky, that um, there are, like, that you will find kilt hire shops in Ireland. And people will choose to use the kilt for things the way they do for special occasions in Scotland, too weddings and special occasions like that, but it's not necessarily uh, quite as ingrained with the population as a whole as we're used to thinking of it for Scotland. Mm -hmm. And you've talked in the past about how it's much more of a bigger deal in the diaspora, right? Correct. Yeah, the, the diaspora of the, of the kilts are, are, are of, of kilt wearing, especially with Irish. Um, it, yeah, it's just, it's much a, a stronger connection. It's part of, it's not necessarily part of Irish culture, so to speak, but it is part of the American Irish experience, the Canadian Irish experience, the Australian Irish experience. And I'm mixing those names up, meaning, you know, Canadians with Irish heritage or Americans with Irish heritage. Huh. It's, it's, yeah, it's part of the, the diaspora experience. It's not necessarily just Irish. Huh. Yeah, I think I think that and the the further you are away from the homeland of your ancestors, the more passionate you get about this stuff. We definitely see that with the Scottish side of things, and the Irish are really no different. It just uh, doesn't have quite as long a time span yet. Yeah, and I love the uh, uh, the one saying, "The kilts are worn by Americans and Scotlands and by Scots in America." Right. It shows that you know you when you leave the country is when you get ultra proud of where you were from and remembering how it was and you know the old country and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. 